Hello, everyone, and welcome to what I suppose we can call a, you know, type of wrap up um, of the day's news uh, for Cheesehead TV. I am Monty Moore. Um, you can find me on Twitter. I am at Ferd Turgeson. It's F-E-R-D underscore T-U-R-G-E-S-O-N. Uh, my namesake is the greatest Celebrity Jeopardy character out there, played by Norm MacDonald. Uh, rest in peace, we lost him this year. Um, but basically what this is going to be is um, a later in the day type of show, uh, recapping any big news, um, transactions, uh, press conferences, things like that, uh, that you guys uh, can come here and view at the end of the day. Um, might not necessarily be every single day, but when there is something to uh, report on and talk about, you can find it right here. So what we're going to review today is we know owners meetings are going on this week. Uh, Brian Gutekunst talked yesterday. Uh, this morning, though, we had uh, a couple of good things from Matt LaFleur. He had some media availability um, and he kind of focused on just a few key areas that I think are worth mentioning. Uh, he had some good anecdotes on Aaron Rodgers coming back. Um, he said, you know, all along, he had good feelings that he was going to return. Uh, so maybe that means he wasn't quite as stressed out as as we were as a fan base. But he did say he didn't you don't know until you know for sure. So when he got uh, when he got that text message that Rodgers was coming back, he said he sprinted out of the room to make sure um, that what he was reading was actually accurate. So that was a weight lifted off his shoulders. And he also did comment on kind of the future of Rodgers with this contract that he signed. You know, he said, I think he'll go as long as he wants. He's got not only the talent, but the mind and the way he takes care of himself is as good as I've seen. So it for sure sounds like, you know, they want him to be ending his career in Green Bay. And based on the way things are playing out, that is what it looks like is going to happen. Um, he did also um, make a few very telling comments about the state of the wide receiver group. Obviously, two big things in the last week that have happened. Uh, Devontae Adams traded to the Raiders and Marcus Valdez Scantling leaving in free agency to go to the Chiefs. So obviously knowing there's a big void there, uh, Matt LaFleur did say specifically, you know, if you look at our roster, we know we need some speed in that room. We need a legit guy that can take the top off the coverage. So no worries, everybody. Matt LaFleur has read your tweets. Um, they know that they need some speed at receiver. And what we have seen is obviously this offense truly does work best when they have a guy that even is a threat um, for to, to get those big downfield plays. And as far as the direction, you know, they know they want to go to fill those roles. Um, I like that he specifically said, filling wide receivers is important because playmakers outside lead to explosive plays and that leads to points. So he's confident that they're going to get the job done. Uh, obviously Goody and the rest of the scouting staff know that there's a dearth there in talent and bodies overall. Um, but I do like what he said, there's six months before we kick off and I envision a lot happening between now and opening day. So again, Obviously, if the season were to start today, thankfully it's not. They have a big hole at receiver, but they definitely do have plans there to fill those spots. Um, he did also talk about Robert Tunyon. Um, obviously, this is uh, not a wide receiver, but it's still a pass catching weapon. Um, I like that he said he was in my office the other day. It was great to see him. You can tell he's working hard and I don't foresee him being any different physically. Um, we know Tunyon is going to be coming off that ACL. Uh, hopefully his recovery is according to plan, according to schedule. It sounds like it is thus far, no setbacks, so that's good. And then finally, you know, we obviously have all been rallying against the special teams for much of the year. Obviously it played out in the worst way possible in the playoffs. Packers did hire Rich Passaccia, make him the highest paid special teams coach in the league. Uh, he had two great quotes with him. He said, buckle up. God damn, he's a fiery dude. I can't wait. I can't wait to see how he interacts with our players and that dimension he's going to bring not only to special teams, but our entire team. Um, adding a guy like Rich to your weakest spot uh, overall on the roster, you would figure can only help. I'm excited to see what he does bring to the table because that group, that entire unit needed a complete overhaul. Um, and he did say, uh, you know, Matt LaFleur close with Will Compton, who <laughs> has been pretty much openly lobbying on Twitter to get 
uh, call to, to play in Green Bay. But Will Compton said he's the best leader he's ever been around. And if he can use the P word, he's a bit of a prick, but I'll run through a concrete wall for him. And when you're hiring a coach, that's really all you want to hear, right? Is that his players absolutely want to give their all for him and his players absolutely love playing for him. So really all around good news, uh, good good quotes from Matt LaFleur. It's obviously they have a plan, um, even though we panic and it might not seem like they do, they know what they're doing and I'm excited to see where they go in the draft. I mean, this is a draft that admittedly as someone that's not a huge draft guy, I have a lot more interest in it this year, obviously just because of the shots at the bites at the apple, excuse me, that the Packers are going to have. So that about wraps it up. His, his media availability was only about 12 minutes, but those are the key things that I that I pulled from there. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for listening to Cheesehead TV and Go Pack Go!